today's video, you and I are gonna try to solve one of the biggest issues we continue to face in the construction industry, a shortage of over half a million skilled workers. So let's go. So this is a hot topic that isn't going away anytime soon, and I've seen articles resurfacing more often over the past few years, especially recently. There is a skilled labor shortage in the range of half a million workers that has been impacting construction projects since about 2021. So as someone who can confirm that this is a real issue and shortages are prevalent in the industry, this is an issue worth talking about. Skilled construction labor is lacking and it has definitely created some stress points in the industry when it comes to meeting the general backlog of overall construction, as as well as the demanding schedules we're seeing these days. So in a healthy competitive construction market with an abundant workforce, construction companies bid tighter budgets and faster schedules out of necessity to survive amongst the competition. We witnessed this aggressive bidding and scheduling from 2012 up until 2020, as we had steady economic growth in the United States following the 2008 recession. These tight budgets and schedules have become the new norm and the expectation within the construction industry in general. Now in 2020, when the pandemic hit, a large large number of skilled construction workers decided to leave the industry and hang up their hard hats for good. So was the pandemic the sole reason for this mass exit, or was it just a catalyst for the labor shortages to appear that we're experiencing today? So this is the part where everyone's got an opinion as to what's going on in the construction industry, which has led to some fiery debates. Is there a cultural shift? Are the younger generation just lazier? Is there a war on work? Is it wage related? Is this an employer problem or is this an employee problem? So I've heard opinions from both sides arguing back and forth over the past few years. There's likely some truth in most of these reasons, because the construction industry is so far stretched that each individual working in it likely has a different experience and a different perspective to give. So putting these opinions aside for a quick moment, for those working in the field in construction, meaning the physical labor that actually gets buildings built, is a demanding and a tough job. I have nothing but the utmost respect for these individuals who wake up and shape our communities that we live in. So these discussions should not be happening without first giving these skilled workers the respect they deserve as they're the ones getting out there on a daily basis early in the morning to build these communities. So that being said, I've got a couple thoughts about this. I believe this problem was inevitable and actually started decades ago. I think that the current back and forth reasons as to why there's a skilled labor shortage feel more like symptoms of a much larger issue. So to go back in time, when I was younger, I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do with my life, but the people around me and the media at the time often portrayed the idea that a college degree was the new high school diploma. So from a young age, I didn't feel like there were any other options aside from getting a college degree, whether that was construction related or not. So over the past couple of decades, we've seen an explosive expansion of private universities and online degrees that match this message. These universities are businesses that have generated billions and billions in income from tuition, with much of it being based on federally backed loans, which is all low risk to the universities. These profits further solidify their business models and have allowed them much greater media exposure to the general population. So how does this relate to current job shortages? Well, you've got this multi-billion dollar media realm of college exposure, whether it's an ad for a college education, whether it's college football, college basketball, a piece of mail from your local community college, all leading to this unfortunate concept that the only way you can make a career is by going to college. It's a message that many of us are inundated with on a regular basis. And the point of this video is not to slam college or to say college is a bad thing. In fact, I just made a video about getting a degree in construction management. So let's talk about the flip side. So there's relatively zero exposure for new individuals to learn how to join the skilled trades in comparison to what we see universities can pay to advertise. Essentially, the skilled trade career path suffers from exposure due to direct competition with universities. People who are unaware are less likely to see it as a career path. This is also coupled with the fact that the training and education within the construction trades is far behind what it should and could be. But you and I are here to change at least that part of it. So the point I'm trying to make in all of this is that I would have personally considered working in the trades had I received earlier exposure to what the trades could potentially offer. The fact is, I was completely unaware of the process based on the available resources I had at the time. Yes, there are still issues such as wage, work-life balance, etc., all which shouldn't be ignored and need to have further discussion. I see a lot of these issues slowly improving. However, I didn't see any passion to join the trades when I was growing up, and I still feel like there's something missing. So we're sitting here with half a million skilled worker roles that need to be filled and nobody to currently fill them. So let me know in the comments below, is it a change in our culture? Do we need changes in wages? Do people want a better work-life balance or is it something I'm missing? So I look forward to hearing your fresh take and as always, be better, build better, and bye for now. Aww.